Hey guys, in this video we are going to look at the song Yellow by Coldplay, which is such a great tune. And when I say look at the song, I mean literally pick it apart so we can see how it was written. Not just to learn the chords to passively play along, but to really get inside Chris Martin's head as a songwriter to understand how he composed this chord progression so you can build your own chops as a songwriter too. And we're going to do this on both the piano and the guitar so that if you play one instrument or the other or both, you get the insight you need into this song. Okay, so yellow has five chords in total. B major, E major, F sharp major, F sharp minor, and then G sharp minor. And because the song centers around B major, B is the tonal home bass, it's in the key of B. But the question is, what mode is it in? It could have been written in any of the seven modes, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, or Locrian, though we can figure out the correct mode through a process of elimination by looking at each of the chords in this song. Now because B is the tonic, and it's a major chord, that means that B is a major one, which narrows it down to the Ionian mode, the Lydian mode, or the Mixolydian mode. Then E major is a major four chord, although that still means that it could be either Ionian or Mixolydian. So moving on to the F sharp major chord, that's a major chord, which tells us that we're in the Ionian mode, since that has a major five chord, while Mixolydian has a minor five chord. And the G sharp minor chord is also in the Ionian mode, that's the minor six. And then factoring in the F sharp minor chord, that's a minor five borrowed from the Aeolian mode to add some harmonic variety to the song. All right, so yellow is written in B Ionian, but what informs Chris Martin's movement between all of these chords? Why did he arrange this chord progression like he did? Well, it was partly for the chords to support and follow the melody, but it also has to do with how the chords and the chord progression is guided by the theory of harmony. So to explain, let's start with the circle of fifths. This fundamental pattern illustrates how all notes and chords are connected to each other in music, which we can visualize with the color wheel. And when we focus on just these 12 notes and then rearrange them into the chromatic scale, which is the pattern of notes as they appear on instruments, unwinding them into a linear format like this, we can pick out the B Ionian mode or the B major scale. And by combining every other note in this pattern using tertian intervals or intervals of major thirds and minor thirds, seven chords are formed, which make a string of harmonies that we can wrap into a loop of harmonic space like this. To then better understand how this song is written using this chord progression in the verse sections, B major, one, F sharp major, five, and E major, major four. Look at the stars, look how they shine for you, and everything you do, yeah they were all yellow. And then this chord progression in the chorus sections, E major, major four, G sharp minor, six, and F sharp major, five. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones turn into something beautiful. You know, you know I bleed myself dry. You know I bleed myself. And then it goes back into the verse section again to cycle through B major, F sharp major, and E. And then finally in the outro, the harmony flows through these chords. B major, one, F sharp minor, and then E major, major four. So on the instruments, the chord progression in each verse is B major, F sharp major, and E major. And then it moves to the chorus with chords E major, G sharp minor, and F sharp major. And then at the very end of the song, the progression passes through chords B major, and then you've got F sharp minor, and then E major. Again, all of this harmonic movement is in the key of B, and specifically in B Ionian. So let's play the song from beginning to end to really see and hear it all come together.
ますね。Because yellow is in B Ionian, a mode often used in classical music with its sweet consonant sound, it lends itself to the strings that accompany Chris Martin's romantic lyrics that flow like poetry. But with its hard-driving electric guitars, bass, and drums, it also has a modern feel to it as well. So you could call it kind of a modern classical sound, almost like the musical equivalent of Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet, as a modern twist on an age-old story. Anyway, hopefully this gives you some insight into Coldplay's song "Yellow," which is such an excellent song. And let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.